Human beings have always depended on nature's biodiversity for survival, but climate change has left a large scar on the ecosystem. Kiroka village in southern Tanzania is suffering the consequences. Kiroka village is home to nearly 6,000 people, most of whom depend on agriculture for their livelihoods. With climate change compounding the existing challenges of soil erosion, deforestation and population growth, it was time for intervention. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, in collaboration with the Tanzanian Ministry of Agriculture, Food Security and Cooperatives and Sokoina University of Agriculture, SUA, started training farmers and developing systems of agriculture to enhance sustainable land use and water management. The division of FEO aims to work together with local populations on how best to adapt current practices and how best to identify crop varieties which are uh, suitable for drier circumstances uh, in, in the country. So it's very much a participatory approach with local community. At the heart of climate change is water which is increasingly scarce. Kiroka Irrigation Scheme, supported by FAO and SUA, has an area of about 147 hectares, but only 80 hectares are productive during the rainy season. Most of this area is under rice production, using a new method called the System of Rice Intensification, SRI. Unlike the conventional method of continuous flooding of paddy fields, SRI involves intermittent wetting and drying of paddies. Once a paddy has enough water, it is released for use in the next paddy. Specific soil and agronomic management practices are also used. Basically, the principles include transplanting very young seedlings of 8 to 14 days old. These are very young, but also wide spacing. From one seedling to another is around 25 centimeters. Maji tunatumia machache na kweli tunayapata kila mtu anayapata tofauti na zamani tunavuna chakula kweli tunapata kingi kutokana na mfumo huu wa CRI ni mwanamke mjane lakini nina watoto watatu kweli nalima napata chakula na naweza kusomesha wanangu na kupeleka hospitali kwa mahitaji yote wanapata Soil erosion is another problem especially in the highlands, where land was left bare by increased agricultural practices. Tukafundishwa makontua jinsi ya kupima makontua, tukatoka pale tukafundishwa jinsi ya upandaji wa migomba, tukapanda migomba, ili kuyaimalisha hali makontua. Wakatuletea mananasi, mbegu za mananasi, tukayapanda, ili vua inaponyesha ya kijaa pale, ule udongo ambao tunautoa, Firewood is the main source of energy for cooking in Kiroka. But traditional stoves use large amounts of firewood, leading to great deforestation. Following the introduction of energy-saving stoves as part of the project, tree cutting has been reduced by 80%. <laughs> With energy-saving stoves, firewood that lasted for a week now lasts for a month. Tree nurseries were established in Kiroka village to help create woodlots, conserve water sources and for economic purposes. Ambavyo tunaotesha na baadae vikisha kuwa, yani tunahamisha, tunapereka mashambani na sehemu ambazo miti imipungua. Mti unafaida nyingi sana. Kimvuli, jyotu inapunguza, lakini pia baadae utavuna miti 
itakapo hata kama isiwe mimi lakini mwanangu au mjukuu wangu atakuja kufikia kutumia The tree planting project was also introduced in schools Tukitoka darasani tunaelezea wanafunzi wetu kule mambo ya mazingira darasani tukitoka nje tunaelezea wanafunzi kinadharia kwa kupanda miti tuta tunawaeleza faida ya kupanda miti tutapata matunda miti ile ya matunda tunapata mbao kwa ile miti ya mbao na zile mbao tunauza zingine tunajengea na zingine zile tutakapouza basi tutapata kipato cha kuendeleza katika shule yetu All these diversified interventions are helping this community as they adapt to climate change. The interventions which we are implementing here are climate smart agriculture, whereby we are addressing productivity, we are addressing adaptation, resilience, and also we are addressing mitigation. Because it was participatory from the beginning, we wanted to ensure that they understood first of all because that was more important the understanding of what the effects would be in years to come and how they could try to address it now and start working with it for the next generation climate smart agriculture is boosting food security improving soil fertility better water management and resilience and this means a brighter future for the people of kiroka village tunashukuru kwa kuwa elimu aliyetupa imetupa hamasa na imetupa uelewa wa kushughulika na hii kazi tena si kwa muda huu tu kwamba tukihamisha hii miti iwe basi hapana tunakusudia wengi wetu tuwe na mashamba hata maekari kwa ajili ya miti